I work in the Intelligence Systems Research Centre in the University of Ulster and I'm part of a group based in McGee campus and we're measuring arthritis of the finger joints and specifically of the all the fingers and the thumb and we're now working on measurement of the back and also on measurement of arthritis of the foot. The research challenge for us was the, um, a major one in the UK. There's 580,000 people currently suffer with arthritis and every year there's 20,000 new cases diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis of the finger joints. The current system that measures this uh, debilitating disease is very old. It's 80 year old technology and it's open to a lot of inter-reader and clinician bias. So not all readings can be exactly the same between clinicians. So we wanted to develop something that was highly accurate and removed the human error out of the measurement techniques. So we, with Tyndall National Institute program, we developed a highly sensitive and highly accurate um, auto-calibrating data glove. This is an example of the goniometer. It's really old technology. It's typically been used for 80 years. This is the first data glove that we used for the development of our system. It's an off-the-shelf glove, but because it's off-the-shelf, then it's not customizable. And it had several problems. It wasn't really accurate. It was tethered and it was very bulky and it required calibration and it was very expensive. This is output from our NAP project. This is the wireless data glove. It's auto calibrating. It doesn't need any user intervention. It's put it on and it works right away. It's state of the art. It's better than anything that's out there and it fulfills all our requirements and needs and we're so happy with it. So this is the glove that we've now used in patient trials. We've just successfully completed testing on 12 rheumatoid arthritis patients and on the good results that we got from the trials we're now planning to use this in other departments within the Health Trust such as um, for stroke rehabilitation and for post-surgical measurement of finger joint movement. These are the sensors that measure movement on each of the finger joints. They're inertial measurement units that each have an accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer. Each, I, each inertial measurement unit combines to give highly sensitive and accurate positioning of each of the finger joints. This area is the control and circuitry. It manages all the signaling from each inertial measurement unit and processes the data and it is then wirelessly transmitted using this Wi-Fi module. It uses standard TCP protocols so there's no additional hardware required with, the, with, the hard, with this data glove. This is the controlling software that manages the signaling from the data glove and it maps it into measurable movement and angles of each of the finger joints. It's written in C Sharp and it's hosted currently on the Windows platform. This is the post analysis screen. It's the output of the movement from the, each of the data glove sensors and it just analyzes movement and shows where any potential problems exist. So we've taken the problems that we've got from the goniometer, we've designed a new system using an off the shelf data glove and then we've worked with Tyndall Institute to create a state-of-the-art wireless data glove that solves all these problems and it gives us a rehabilitation device that can be used in any areas for joint measurement. So the researchers at the University of Ulster needed a wearable wireless system to monitor joint angle and finger dexterity in the whole analysis of rheumatoid arthritis. So we developed a system for them, incorporating flexible technology, bend sensors, force sensors and touch sensors and, and accelerometers to monitor finger and hand movement. What they want to measure is a thing called the Carpendi Index, where you're looking at dexterity of the fingers, range of motion and speed of motion of the hand. And through looking at this Carpendi in Index, they're able to monitor the onset of rheumatoid arthritis and its progress. 
So following on from the development of that initial flexible system, we developed uh, the phase two prototype, which was even more flexible, incorporated additional sensor modalities and um, a high-speed Wi-Fi wireless system for, data, for high-speed data throughput. It incorporates six degree of freedom, wire inertial measurement units on each of the flanges. It incorporates high-speed Wi-Fi technology and, of course, uh, a complex microprocessor at the heart of the system for the embedded system data analytics. So, building on the system that we've developed here, not only are we enabling the researchers at the University of Ulster to monitor rheumatoid arthritis, there are significant opportunities for looking at other clinical case studies, such as post-stroke rehabilitation, post-surgical rehabilitation, and of course the whole area of looking at uh, virtual reality and human-computer interaction. This type of systems where you've got very accurate, high-speed wireless data throughput associated with hand motion, there are significant opportunities in all of these areas.